when we designed the eight acts with the help of drdo well first of all let us understand that india has between drdo csir and other laboratories of the indian government one of the most brilliant scientists any on on this planet okay the iits you name it one of the brilliant scientists i mean they can just do amazing work when we designed the atag with drdo this was done with the help of the drdo's lab in pune the arde lab first time the gun was designed as a software driven gun i mean nobody knows this because the gun hasn't been given to the army yet for exploitation so nobody knows this it's a software driven gun that means it's completely autonomous it is it can withstand uh all the cyber uh systems that can uh, knock you off or whatever it is but you can operate 18 guns in 18 different directions remotely just with one control just with uh, autonomous control we have exported atax to armenia armenia is not a very high tech country or you know not a highly developed country but some smart engineers there so they have even taken it one step forward they fired the atax and they found that at 45 km that's our official maximum firing range for standard ammunition actually it is 48 it's the longest range in the world for a 52 caliber gun normal 52 caliber guns fire at 41 km they found the cep at 45 km to be 50 meters 50 meters of 150 feet and they found that this gun has all these software capabilities and it's a electric driven gun it's like a machine tool with ball screws so they put a new technology which we are now incorporating for the indian army they put a little bird on it that size with a camera and uh, communication to the gun send the bird up check where the first shot fell and automatically correct send the correction signal to the gun and the gun corrected it in seconds so when the second shot falls accurate the result is you have to fire less than 50% of the shots to get the same effect so there are so many technologies that we have which we can exploit i'm just giving one example there are many many more that we can exploit to make the indian armed forces much stronger much capable to fight whether it's a two and a half dimension war or whether it's a multi dimension war and all this is produced indigenously not a single component in that gun comes from outside 